welcome to all of you shiksha 360 and today basically we will start our discussion on bfm clear basically this is the first session on bfm and in this session basically we will guide you basically how we can cover our syllabus and how we have to attempt the exam so that basically we are able to clear clear so basically first thing basically we have to understand that our exam is of 100 marks clear our exam is of 100 marks and out of that basically how much basically we have to score at least 50 at least 50 marks basically we have to score clear this is our main target to score at least 50 marks clear so basically for scoring at least 50 marks what basically we have experienced from the last few years first of all basically student many students start preparing before the examination at least one week and some are preparing at least three to four months clear so basically first of all students basically will know which topic is important and which is not important and which is not important clear so basically first thing i will tell you that all topics are important clear all topics are important for your examination clear because in examination they will ask questions from each topic clear because in in examination they will ask question from each topic clear as the cap exam basically already held on 6 february 2022 and i think many of you have already appeared in that and many of you are not clear so basically students who appeared in that they check that in the examination they will ask case study numerical and theoretical question also <coughs> and if you experience that exam that theoretical portion is easy to attempt clear theoretical portion is easy to attempt if you go through the concept properly clear and numericals are also straightforward clear in the case study clear in the case study basically what we are facing as basically case study is also not typical case study if like they are asking five mark case study clear clear like they are asking five mark case study on we can say that on treasury bill clear so out of that three two to three questions are directly straightforward questions clear out of that two to three questions basically are directly straightforward questions for that basically you are not able to even study that detailed case clear basically what they have given clear like they will ask that tenure clear or like these basic things clear like minimum number of days clear these types of thing they will ask clear so the main motive here basically discussion here is basically that is you have to go through the theory well clear you have to understand the theory well clear like in the numerical like they are asking five mark case study on any numerical clear like population distribution <coughs> like this year they have asked clear so that are also not typical clear basically in one or like five questions they have asked so in one or two questions basically one or two questions already based just they are asking formula clear for which thing basically which formula will be implemented clear for which thing basically which formula will be implemented clear now basically you have sufficient time so i request all of you please go through all that concepts basically which we will discuss with all of you one by one clear and please practice the questions also clear basically which we will provide you clear so next basically how we can go through basically there are four modules there are four modules clear a b c d clear and if you have done any three modules properly clear any three modules properly then you can easily score 50 marks Clear? then you can easily score 50 marks this is basically for those students who are starts preparing at the last time clear who starts preparing in the last time clear these are basically for those clear otherwise basically we have to cover all the four modules clear and one thing basically important is like in module a we have to discuss now clear so basically one thing i will tell you like module b and module d 
some topics are similar clear some topics are similar clear like we can say that in module d there is a little bit more explanation of the same topics basically which we have to discuss in the module b clear like we can say that chapter number 10 risk regulations in banking industry clear chapter number 10 is risk regulation in banking industry this is the lengthiest and typical chapter of module b clear and if you go through this chapter clear this is very easy if you properly understand clear of banking industry if you understand this chapter completely then basically it help pass to you in module d clear basically in module d where it helps you basically it helps you in module d in chapter number 23 chapter number 24 25 26 clear all these four chapter you can easily understood if you are able to understand properly chapter number 10 clear chapter number 10 all the rest chapters basically like chapter number 23 24 25 26 is basically based on that clear it is basically based on that clear <coughs> all are basically based on the basal norms clear all these chapters are basically based on the basal norms clear so that's why i will tell you basically please proper we understand the topics and you can easily clear clear this is not that much typical clear so let's start our discussion one by one module wise basically how we can cover each module the first is basically module a clear module a clear basically how we can cover clear module a is basically based on the international banking clear module a is basically based on the international banking so module a basically consists of the seven topics and the first one is basically exchange rate and forex business clear exchange rate and forex business in this basically we have to discuss exchange rate clear basically how we can convert one currency into another clear one currency into another and from that basically five mark or three mark case study we will expect clear just on the exchange rate topic clear like we can say that we have given dirham clear and we have to convert in any other currency clear or one month forward two months forward clear or six month forward like these question they have asked in the exam clear and this year also they have asked one case study on the exchange rate and that is basically very straight forward case study clear very straight forward case study we will also have to discuss that case study in the regular session clear basically we have to discuss that case study also in our regular sessions clear so and next one basically forex business we have to deal also that clear from that basically they will ask one or two mark theory based question clear theory based question okay and one thing i will tell you more that is same case study clear basically which they have asked in the morning shift same case study they have asked in the 11 am shift and same case study in the evening shift clear like i think in the 2 pm shift clear same case study clear with the same numerical values they have asked this year clear this year they have asked in this way clear so i request all of you please if you are going to attempt the examination and please select your slot either 11 am slot or 2 pm slot clear so that you will get little bit basic idea basically how they are framing the questions clear how they are framing the questions in the examination clear second topic basically which we have to discuss here is to be correspondent banking and the nri accounts clear this is very very important and from this basically we have also get two to three marks question clear next one is documentary letter of credit from this basically we have to expect one case study clear either one case study from this or theory questions clear this is very very important clear documentary letter of credit fourth one is facilities for exporters and importers clear what are the facilities we will provide next one is the risk in foreign trade clear role of ecgc clear ecgc clear basically this also help us in chapter number 27 that is provisioning norms clear chapter number 27 that is provisioning norms 
clear basically from this basically we will get some numericals also clear from from this basically we will get some numerical also like how much insurance is provided by this agency clear and how we can calculate the amount clear like all these things like we can say that we are given 10 crore loan clear basically we are we can say that exporting 10 crore amount goods clear to any country clear and that is insurance given by the ecgc is 80 percent coverage clear in this type of way they will ask question in the examination clear basically we have to discuss also next one is the basics of forex derivatives clear basics of forex derivatives clear basically in this basically we have to discuss different types of risk clear basically different types of risk so this chapter is basically the become the basic of module b clear of module b and last one is here is basically chapter number seven that is role of exim bank rp exchange control in india pema and fedi and others clear basically we have to discuss regarding all this clear like fema foreign exchange management act clear from this basically what they have asked basically they will ask like what is the difference clear basically they will ask some points clear regarding the fema or fpdia i clear so basically they will ask these types of question clear like which of the following is correct which of the following is not correct clear these types of question they will ask in the examination clear so all these are clear from one they one question they will ask from this one one from this one and one or two question from fema and fedi clear so this is very very important clear and this is totally theoretical chapter clear this is totally theoretical topic <clears throat> this is also theory based topic clear so some chapters are theoretical based and some chapters are numerical based clear but but if you go through the sessions properly then you will not face any problem while answering the questions clear and basically we will provide you also case studies after the completion of the chapter so that you can go through the concept properly clear basically how we'll basically first of all we will cover the topic and after covering the topic basically we'll provide you the ppt recorded sessions clear and after that next day basically or after two days basically when you are properly advised we will discuss mcq discussion it includes numericals plus theoretical questions clear and after that basically we will provide you two to three case studies for the practice clear you have to solve the case study solution will be uploaded in the recorded form clear solution will be uploaded in the recorded form in the group clear of these case studies clear of these case studies will be uploaded in the recorded form okay in this way basically we have to cover so this is the module a next basically module b clear module b basically in that basically we have to discuss all risks one by one clear in this basically we have to discuss all risks one by one clear so let's start our discussion basically what are the different types of risk basically for that risk and basic risk management framework clear this is basically chapter number eight and in this chapter basically we have to discuss basically what are the different types of risk clear like in that chapter number two <coughs> we will do a little bit discussion here we have to detail complete discussion what are the different types of risk basically which we have to discuss next one after that basically we have to understand that is risk regulation in banking industry clear risk regulation in banking industry next one basically we have to discuss one by one clear these are basically theoretical topics and in this topic basically we will discuss some numericals clear we will discuss some numericals and that numericals will be asked in the examination also clear from the chapter number eight basically we will discuss our numericals and that are very very important for your examination point of view clear examination point of view like volatility sensitivity clear every year they will ask these numerical then that are basically one or two marks question clear that are also easy question now next one basically which we have to understand here is to be market risk clear now basically we have to detail discussion of the market risk clear basically what is market risk what are the different types of market risk clear and after that basically we have to go through with the credit risk clear now basically here what we are doing here basically we are discussing one by one risk in detail clear market risk credit risk next one here basically operational risk 
and integrated risk management clear operational risk and integrated risk management next one is the <clears throat> risk in banking business clear risk in banking business clear that is we can say that risk in banking business or banking industry clear that is chapter number 10 clear sorry risk in banking business this is chapter number 10 risk regulation in banking industry this is chapter number 10 which we have discussed in the starting clear that is this chapter if we have go through this chapter then this chapter help us to understand chapter number 23 24 25 26 clear so basically when we are going to discuss this chapter we have to cover all these chapters along with that here we have to cover all these chapters along with that and for these topics clear we have to refer the RB circulars clear basically we have to refer the RB circulars clear as basically our exam will be held in the month of june or july so basically we have to refer the rb circulars up to december 2021 clear because in that basically when they release the admit letter because in that basically they have mentioned that you have to go through clear that you have to go through basically up to december 2021 clear basically this is the main scenario basically which they have given clear next one is the operational risk and integrated risk management next one six chapter number six is risk in banking business liquidity risk management clear like this one market risk credit risk operational risk this is the fourth risk liquidity risk management and last one is basically the basel 3 framework on the liquidity standards clear basel 3 framework basically on the liquidity standards clear so this is the basel norms clear regarding that clear basically this chapter basel 3 framework on liquidity management and chapter number two clear these are similar topics clear basically familiar components basically which we have to discuss under that clear and this is the basically most scoring scoring topic clear scoring topic and easy clear in that basically we have to same thing basically mcq discussion plus numerical plus case study clear basically for these topics we will provide you the handwritten notes also clear before one week of your or two weeks before your examination, we will provide you the handwritten notes. Clear and some topics we will provide you basically after the completion and for some topics we will provide you before the examination because sometimes some updates are required. Clear as per the IABS. Clear. So basically this will help you. Clear. And that one thing I will clear you theoretical mainly this from this they will ask many of the theoretical questions or some basic numericals. Clear. Not that much typical. And that is the scoring module here. Next one, basically, we have to go through the module C that is treasury management. Clear that is treasury management. And this year, clear basically in February on 6th Feb 2022, when this exam is going to basically when exam is held on that day, basically from module C, they will ask case studies, clear two case studies they will ask in the examination clear from this module and that case studies are basically create lot of confusion clear create lot of confusion among the student because they ask clear iibf asked some previous concepts clear basically not updated portion in the examination clear so i request all of you please go through the book clear please go through the book first clear students who have gone through the books they are able to answer the questions clear because many students they are already correct that they have followed the updated circular as per the iabs guidance but they have asked questions from the previous basically from not the updated information clear so i request all of you please go through the both clear please go through the both these things clear so for here basically we have five topics total we have six. First one is the introduction to treasury management next one here basically treasury products funding and regulatory expects treasury risk management treasury risk management derivative products treasury and asset liability management here asset liability management is very very important because this forms a basics of the chapter number 22 clear that is basically from the module d clear from the module d clear basically from this Basically, we will, generally we will get the theory based questions clear. Basically, from this, basically, generally we will get the theory based questions clear. Like in this, basically, we have to discuss the money market clear. 
notice money call money clear even from that they have asked five mark case study clear directly theory based case study clear like in the notice money market how many days call money market clear how many days clear this type of question they have already asked in the examination and we have to go through all these things very well clear all these things very well clear so the main motive here basically how you can follow basically first of all go through the sessions even if you are not able to attend the live sessions due to some reason please watch the recorded session clear on the same day and after that make your notes if you want otherwise go through the slides clear basically which we will provide you then mcqs then numericals clear then case study clear then case study clear so in this way basically you have to go through the concepts clear basically first of all i request you please go through the videos clear if you not understand the concept and directly go to the mcq it will not help you clear it will not help you clear no need to cram basically just understand it will help you to answer the questions clear now basically move to the last module that is module d first topic here basically that is chapter number 27 asset classification and provisioning norms clear definitely you will get here four to five mark question basically from that clear either one case study or one 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 marks question clear and that is very very important clear asset classification and provisioning norms and one thing i will tell you more this chapter clear basically this chapter provisioning norms we have to discuss under the abm also under the bfm also under the retail also clear so basically if you go through this chapter once properly then it will benefit in all the three subjects clear in all the three subjects clear like in the abm what they have asked basically just they have asked basically what is sma1 sma2 sma3 sma1 sma2 and sma0 not three sorry sma0 clear on that five mark case study clear similarly in the bfm they will just ask one or two theory based questions clear in the retail they have asked five marks case study clear calculation based case study clear calculation based case study like we have any account we can say that account a1 and that much portion is under the security and that much portion is not under the security clear so how much provisioning is required clear they have also mentioned the date of np clear so basically you have to check out basically either it is in the d1 d2 d3 three category clear loan or under the substandard category clear basically first of all we have to find that and on the basis of that basically we have to calculate the provisioning clear so second topic basically here is to be the components of assets and liabilities in the banks clear in the banks balance sheet and their management third one is the capital adequacy that is the basal to overview clear this chapter basically we have to done along with the chapter number 10 r a r o c and the profit planning clear basically from this they have asked case study or numerical based question clear case study or numerical based question basically from this topic they have asked similarly from this chapter also clear interest rate risk management clear interest rate risk management clear basically from this theory based question liquidity management basically liquidity management is we have to understand many of the concepts under the module b and here basically we will discuss some case study type questions clear to understand the concept more next one is the banking regulation and capital under that basically we have to discuss what is tier 1 tier 2 capital clear basically how we can calculate crar clear all these things basically we have to understand under this chapter and this chapter basically we have to discuss also under the chapter number 10 clear and supervisory review clear basically supervisory review and supervisory review plus pillar 3 that is market discipline clear market discipline clear basically first we have to supervisory review plus market discipline clear we have to discuss both these chapters under the chapter number 10 and in that module d also clear module d also clear so basically here you are able to understand that it helps us clear basically it helps us you to understand more 
properly if you go through the module b clear if you go through the module b because three to four chapters clear because three to four chapters are already based on the basically chapter number 10 clear chapter number 10 clear so basically this is the overview basically how we can cover all the modules clear how we can cover all the modules clear and it i think it also helps us to understand more clear basically how we can cover and along with that we will discuss also previous year questions clear previous year questions basically previous year questions basically this why basically we will discuss basically it help us to give idea like that these types of question they have already asked in the past year but it does not means that they will ask these types of question in the future also okay because from the last few years basically what we have seen that basically they have asked every year new types of questions clear new types of question that is from the slavers it does not mean not from the but from the slavers but not that like that last year they have asked this question and next year basically they have asked this question also clear not like that clear not like that way. clear this is the way clear and we have to cover the case studies basically case studies as many students are facing issue in the case study clear basically case study is nothing clear case study it is nothing basically it is a detailed discussion of some topics in one single paragraph clear in one single paragraph clear this is basically just case study clear so basically we have to understand all these things clear basically this leads to the completion of the session if you have any doubt any question you can ask clear basically in this way basically we have to cover this bfm and this is not that much typical basically like you are thinking clear this is if you go through the properly and it help us to understand many more new concepts clear which you can utilize in your daily banking clear so thanks to all of you for attending this session basically from tomorrow onwards basically we will start our discussion on bfm clear so thanks to all of you for joining this session and if you have any doubt any query then you can ask